Hey everybody, I haven't made one of these videos in at least two years, so I thought, what the hey, I'd do one now. Um, I recently moved back to my hometown to kind of get my head on straight. Well, not really straight. Speaking of straight, today is National Coming Out Day. So I thought that I would share my story. I don't really know if I've shared mine or not, but I thought, what the hell. Um, I honestly don't remember the first person I told. It was probably someone in high school. Um, and it just went from there. I actually think the first time I ever told anybody was to get out of dating a girl. I got one of those check yes or no type letters and um, I was kind of like, listen, I like you, but you don't have the right body parts. Uh, and I think that was in middle school. And I'm pretty sure she sung the word or the song TLC Scrubs to me. You know who you are. And I still, every time I hear that song, it makes me laugh. Um, I told my mom first uh, I was in a relationship and I thought this is gonna be the one you know this is it and I let her read one of the text messages which was just something cheesy I think it ended with love you babe or something and it was from the guy and his name was uh, saved in my phone and mom's like so are you two dating and I was like yes and I was expecting her to like hit me with a broom or like break a chair over me or something and she was just like Okay, well, as long as you're happy. And then she gave me a grocery list to go shopping. And that was literally it. No tears, no nothing. Just, okay, well, here's the grocery list. I need you to go do this. Um, I told my dad a couple years later, like maybe five, um, that relationship had ended. And I was seeing someone else. And it was kind of one of those things where I just showed up at dad's house for like a holiday or something. And my partner was with me at the time. And Dad just kind of, he didn't say anything, and he was just like, okay, got it. And that Christmas, um, my family got him gifts. And I thought that was really cool that they just, there wasn't even an ex explanation for it. Um, I know people don't have that same experience. Um, I was fairly lucky with that. It also helps, I do love my family, but I've said this to everybody that knows me, I don't really give a shit what my family thinks. I know that's kind of mean, but I don't. They had 18 years to mold me in their image, and that's it. I'm going to be 30 this year, which is crazy to me. And December 2nd, which is Britney Spears' birthday, um, I turned 30. So I don't need my parents' permission or approval or anyone in my family. If they don't like it, then okay, live your life. I'm going to live mine. Um, I haven't dated anybody since my last relationship, which was almost five years ago. That one kind of broke something in me, um, so I'm just not ready to jump back in on that just yet. When the right person comes, maybe, but uh, since it is National Coming Out Day, I wanted to just make a short video to tell everybody that I'm still alive and I'm doing well and maybe I might start making more videos, uh, depends. If you're not following me on Snapchat or Instagram, you should. I make videos for Instagram. Actually, it's not true. I make them on Snapchat and then I upload them to Instagram. Uh, it's mumpy87. I'll put the link in so that you guys can follow me. Um, I like that people are watching Hocus Pocus 2 uh, around this time because I like getting my story out there. And even though they're doing a reboot and it may not have anything to do with my story, um, I'm glad that it's bringing more people to that fantasy. At the same time, if they do use my story, I kind of kind of hope they do because I would get that coin because I uploaded my video like six years ago. So, um, yeah, so there's that. But anyways, um, I just want you to know that it does get better. Just stay strong. And if your family doesn't accept it the way they should, then don't worry about it. You'll find someone who will make it right and you won't have to worry about it. Or if you're like me and your family are pretty okay about it, um, who cares? It doesn't matter. It's your life. You live it the way you want to live it. And yeah, so hope you guys are doing well. I have a play that I'm going to in a, about 30 minutes. So I'm waiting for everybody to get ready. So yeah, follow me on Instagram, Snapchat if you haven't. And I will talk to you all later. Bye.